Hello everyone. Welcome back once again to a fierce kitchen where friends and family cook. I believe the grace of God is keeping us and we are all doing well. For very simple recipes, be sure to subscribe because you'll find all of them here. Today I'm sharing with you how to make your own pie at home and our choice of protein would be corn beef. Let's get right into the video. For this recipe, you need some carrots. So I'm going to go ahead and grate the carrots just like I'm doing in the video. After grating the carrots, I'm going to set it aside and then proceed with my onions and my green bell pepper. I am going to slice them up as well nicely just like I'm doing and set it aside. Kindly remember to hit the like button as it helps with the algorithms. Thank you all so so much for always coming by to support me. I really do appreciate you all and I do not take any of you for granted. And then in a clean pot or clean pan, add in some coconut oil. You can use any oil of your choice. I will then add in my sliced up onions, fry it for about one minute, and then go in with my salt, my rosemary, my black pepper, and then one seasoning cube. I will give it a good stir and allow it to simmer for about five minutes. I will then add in my carrots after five minutes. We are not going to overcook our veggies. We are going to slightly fry it. After adding in the carrots, I will give it a good stir and then goes in my green bell pepper. I will give that one to a good mix and cover it up to steam just for five minutes and after five minutes I would go in with one tablespoon of cornstarch I will mix it with water and then pour it over our vegetables As I said earlier on, in this recipe, our choice of protein is corned beef. I toss it in and I will give it a good stir to ensure that everything is nicely incorporated. I will then cover it again and allow the corned beef to simmer for two minutes. I will then turn off the heat and set it aside for it to cool. On the side, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the dough for the pie. In a clean bowl, I have one kg of flour. To that, I would add half a teaspoon of salt and then nutmeg. I would give it a good stir and then goes in 500 grams of margarine. I replaced my butter with margarine just to cut some cost. I will then try and mix the flour and margarine thoroughly yes just like i'm doing in the video to make sure the flour and the margarine are nicely incorporated together and then goes in my onion and garlic blend to give it a very nice flavor i will then add in water until i am able to form my dough After forming the dough, I'm going to wrap it in a plastic wrap or a cling film and allow it to rest for a maximum of 20 minutes. We are back after 20 minutes. 
and so I prepare the space for rolling out my dough. On my surface I sprinkle some flour to help to roll out the dough easily. So I portion my dough so I don't end up overworking my dough. So you roll the dough out nicely and then cut the shape you prefer. So you can go in for any shape you prefer but today I'm going in for this shape. So just like I'm cutting it out, this is a cover of one of my cooking utensils. So this is what I am using today. And then you add the filling and then try to seal it nicely so it doesn't open up. So I press the edges with my finger to get it sealed beautifully just like I'm doing. I am going to go through the same process until I am done rolling out all my dough. And just like this, we are ready. I am going to transfer them onto our baking tray and then I am going to egg wash the pie. After the egg wash, I am going to poke my fork just like I'm doing. This is what we usually do which is like a form of a design but it's actually held so our pie doesn't burst open and then goes into the oven baking at 180 degrees to 200 degrees for a maximum of 45 minutes but be sure to be checking in between to see how far your pie is cooked already and just like so our pie is ready and if yes, kitchen, dead, 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 dead. So tasty.